Hello everybody and just here and welcome back to Tateno Yusha Shield Hero Season 3 Episode 8 In which we will probably go to defeat a dragon and bring him up back, not kill, certainly not uh, Right, what exactly happened in the previous episode? A lot A lot of fairly like small things, nothing particularly huge big happened uh, but plenty of smaller things did. Uh, first of all, Ren is getting more and more integrated into the village, which is cool. Uh, then we got Kiel transformed into a Therian trope form, and apparently Fall can transform as well, uh, which is cool. And they have Sadina to teach them that art. Uh, we had um, Atla completely body her brother in a hand to hand combat. Uh, Dim herself, now whom is shield, uh, to the point where she just sleeps with him in his bed, sneaks into there, uh, through Fall, right? Tells Fall, oh, sing a lullaby, waits until Fall falls asleep, then she wraps him in rope, ties him up. And uh, and goes to sleep with Naofumi, and Raftalia is very much not pleased about that. Uh, what else happened? Uh, we got a new member of our team, kind of sorta, a new member of the village, rather, uh, Ratatouille, uh, or rather, uh, Ratotil An. Ra Ratotil Anthrea. Ratotil Anthrea, uh, who likes to just be called Rat. So that's what we're gonna call her. Uh, she's an alchemist that was uh, exiled from her city, from her original place for uh, doing some dubious experiments. And she also likes to experiment on animals, and uh, she caught whip of Philo and very much wanted to experiment on her. Thankfully there are other animals to be experimented on. Uh, like those caterpillars that the, uh, that the children uh, um, children nursed. Uh, or, indeed, the dragon. Uh, the dragon that Rat brought with her in her luggage, I think it was given to her to, to pass on as a gift to Naofumi or something like that. Uh, Naofumi carried the dragon egg around, like he did with Philo's egg, until the dragon hatched. It got imprinted on him, uh, a little bit, at least. And uh, the dragon was given under the care of... Of, 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 what's her name? I don't think she is even on the list of characters. Um, one of the kids in the village uh, who has a certain penchant to, um, to keeping uh, animals. Uh, that said, uh, the dragon very much would like to play with Naofumi. Uh, he was the one who warmed the egg, who carried it around, so of course the dragon would be imprinted on him. Uh, the dragon got into Naofumi's um, bedroom. Raftalia thought that it might be a good deterrent to keep Atla away, and then uh, the dragon got into a satchel that Naofumi kept on his bedside table, and in that satchel was the core of the dragon emperor uh, that uh, that they got the corpse of in the mountains, right, killed by Ren. And uh, we... Uh, right, uh, a part of that core was eaten by Philo, a part of it was incorporated into Naofumi's armor, and now the spirit of that dragon is within them, and, and a part of it was kept by an Aofumi processed into a core. Uh, the dragon ate it, evolved into a Charizard, and uh, started attacking. Then it got some clarity of mind, and while it still had the clarity, it decided to run away, instead of allowing the Dragon Emperor within him to rampage through the village. And that's where we are, and now we will have to set off towards the mountains where the dragon is to to retrieve him, to help him. Definitely not kill. Um, now Fumi wouldn't be a person to kill one of his pets, after all, even if that pet is misbehaving, especially since that pet is misbehaving because of the dragon core that now Fumi just left on his bedside table. 
not even left it in a chest locked with a key. I, I, I'm not even talking a safe. Not even a fucking locked chest. Just a random satchel thrown on his bedside table. <clears throat> How stupid are you? I'm sorry, but you keep items like that under lock and key. You really keep items like that under lock and key. So today's episode I fully expect to be about uh, retrieving the dragon. I don't think we're gonna get into a wider story yet. I don't think we're gonna get into um, into the Itsuki arc. Not yet, at least. We will still have, like, what, three more episodes to go after this one. So still plenty of time to deal with uh, with Itsuki and with Bitch. So, uh, so yeah, today's episode can be all about retrieving the dragon. We'll see, of course, uh, where it goes. Maybe they're just gonna leave it for later, or maybe they're gonna retrieve the dragon within the first half of the episode, and the second half will be something else. Anything can happen, really. Who's to say? Uh, so how about we just watch and see what actually happens, right? To do that, you will need your subs to follow along with me. I'm gonna need my sound to hear what's going on, and I'm also gonna have to ask you guys for your support. Support the channel if you want monetarily on Patreon or YouTube down below or not. Share my content and spread the word, costs you nothing, helps a lot. And with that, we can start watching episode 8 of Shield Hero Season 3 in 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, so we are starting where we left off. Okay, so not brain. A core. Yeah, fair assumption. Rato. <laughs> oh, right, and Sign can now speak through her uh, puppet thing. Oh, uh, the Dragon Core is activated because she also swallowed a part of that core. And now the Dragon. The zombie dragon is rampaging, so it's rampaging through Philo as well. And it has no impact on Naofumi because he's not wearing his armor at the time. Cool! Consistency! Cue opening. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot the dragon in his evolved form is bad CG, so that's also worth noting. I wonder if it's maybe because that form won't be used for long, so they didn't bother creating, like, but now, like, hand-drawn... It, it, it's not like you prepare a hand-drawn model ahead of time and then you use it. And then if something isn't there for a long time, then you just use some whatever CG model. Now, if anything, it would be the other way, right? Something doesn't appear for a long time, so they just draw it as needed instead of making a whole ass CG model and animating it. So it really makes no sense why he would be CG. Besides budget and uh, timeline constraints. Dragon's Den.
Yep, the Dragon Core. Right, she's not rampaging though. So what's going on? No. Oh? Uh, is the zombie dragon transferring Philos level onto Galleon? Eh? Yep, exactly. Going after Galleon is the one and only choice you have, really. Since when can you use magic? Or is it like a chi manipulation or something like that? Probably. Well, you better go after Galleon, you have two days, so set off now. Just, you know, just an idea. You're going alone? No, of course not. Sure, but it hasn't been approved that Philo is going, so... Okay, Philo is going. <laughs> Probably not remotely. Okay, so everybody's going then. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... Oh, Rafu can help as well. Healing magic, sure. Okay, so we know that uh, he's here. And where is that? You used to have another dra Oh, oh, it's the zombie dragon. Right, okay, it, it's the village. Yeah, it's the zombie dragon village, and who the fuck are you? Right, I guess the instincts of the zombie dragon would drive him towards this area. Oh, 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 it's her. Why was she wearing a hood and scowling? And Ren is going to see the fallout of his actions. Put him out of his misery. It's just an overgrown hedgehog, why are you scared? What? I thought you were a tamer! <laughs> I thought you tame animals, not vaporize them! The what now? Okay.
What's that face now, Kumi? You suspicious of her? Oh, curse serious? Why would that be? Is the dragon emperor activating it or something? Why though? Just don't go brooding. Oh, is she distrustful of Ren? Yeah, probably. She didn't want to give him the egg either. So she has some personal beef with him. Okay, it makes sense why she was glaring from under her hood, I guess. She was glaring at Ren. Yep, it's a cave. With a convenient side entrance. Use rope shield. Redeemed a little in her eyes, I guess. Or sure, air strike shield that also works. Gives them some footing. It's a cave. Because it's a big cave. Casting big light. Yep. Casting big light. Still doesn't reach to the end. Oh, what were you doing in a dragon's den? Trying to tame it? Maybe? Oh, Philo, hello. Yeah, the cores are resonating, but I would assume they would be attracting each other and not, like, opposing. Then again, Philo is a Philolial, and Philolials hate dragons. Oh, she's fine. It's not the first time she's swallowed by a dragon. Heals instantly.
oh, it's evolving into where's CG. This is not an improvement. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna do much. Okay, it's right order for everybody. How strong of a buff it is, though? Is it, though? Okay, strong enough to harm. Okay, this CG might be... not the best, but at least the cinematography and the camera angles and the camera movements, they're cool at least. <laughs> So the opponent isn't the best, but uh, the fight itself is cool, at least. Of course. The Tostan? Are you the dragon's daughter? Oh, is that why she hates Ren? Because she's the daughter of the Emperor Dragon? You're not a dragon, though. Are you... Were you adopted? Or what? Oh, and that's why she was captured by the slavers. Or that's how she was captured. Okay, so what, are we just supposed to to let this dragon live and just cross Philo out, or what's your idea right now? Talk no jutsu is your idea, okay. Okay, I guess he regained his sanity. Yeah, okay. So that's how she named Galleon. You're dead, give up, go to the afterworld. I guess Tokno Jutsu wasn't particularly effective, huh? Oh. Purple cracks never mean anything good. I know that much. Okay, so was Windia's father not the dragon? Oh, Emperor Dragon or something else than the Zombie Dragon. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. He has gripe with both worlds.
Oh, it's an all for me losing levels as well. We already established that Tokno Jutsu doesn't work. Well, shit. Curse Shield. Or a big buff to Raftalia. We have three minutes. I wonder if they can finish this fight in three minutes. <laughs> See, the cinematography is cool, the fight is cool. Oh, that's why he's sapping the energy, huh? Uh, that's a stretch, but sure. Worth a try, I guess. And perhaps don't talk about your plants out in the open. <laughs> that's another thing. You can enhance your rat shields? Like, plus eight it? What? Since when is that a thing? I guess it worked? Question mark? Or the opposite? Rough shield time? Or the, the turret thing? Turret shield? See, that looks cool. That's a good use of CG. E float, since when do you have that one? And cue the ending, of course. Of course we're left with a cliffhanger, why wouldn't we be? And it's again up to now for me to solo the boss. <laughs> The one character who can't do any damage is going to solo the boss again. <laughs> huh. Okay, so I guess the fight will be done in the next episode. And the last three episodes will be Itsuki arc. Yeah, I guess that's how it's gonna be. What's the title of the next episode? Emperor Dragon. Okay, so the next episode is going to be fight with the Emperor Dragon, if that wasn't obvious yet. Okay, let's watch this one. Again, uh, that's another obvious thing, because we always do that.
Uh, Emperor Dragon is taking over Galleon Chan's mind. Uh, have the core that contains the mind. Interesting, that not brain, but the core, rather. You can use it to improve your own abilities or inherit their memories. That's also interesting, because it kind of implies that dragons have an incentive to consume other dragons to grow stronger. Which is cool. It's really a cool piece of world building, right? But also, it's not without drawbacks, because sure, you can consume that core to gain their strength, but you also gain their memories. And if your personality is weaker than theirs, then you will succumb and they will o take over your body, essentially. Cool mechanic. Cool, 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 cool mechanic. Uh, which was absorbed by the Emperor and Dragon's core. Mm, see, I was really confused here about the uh, zombie dragon and the emperor dragon. I was constantly under the impression that they were one and the same. But no, they're two different dragons. The zombie dragon uh, was the dragon whose core um, Philo swallowed and uh, whose part of his core uh, was embedded in Nalfumi's armor. And the emperor dragon is the uh, emperor dragon core is the core they got in uh, Glasses world. And uh, now he just had it refined. And was it a part of his armor? I think it might have been for a while. I'm not sure. My my memory fails me here. But yeah, those are essentially two separate uh, cores. So Philo has one, Galleon has the second one. Uh, which kind of raises a question. How does Galleon manage to... To get to sap the strength from Philo if they are two distinct cores. If Philo's core and Galleon's core were the same, then sure I can see that there being a link between them, but if there isn't a link between them, then how does it work exactly? I know, I know. I, I might be getting confused here, and maybe they are actually the same core. I know, I, I'm not gonna go back to watch the episode uh, season 2 right now to figure it out, but you guys, I assume you can tell me that in the comments, whether those are two separate cores or one of one and the same core, how does it work? Uh, maybe it's something that's gonna be explained later, maybe it's just something that was skipped from the source material. I know, I'm leaving it uh, at your discretion to not spoil me the future and uh, explain anything that remains... Uh, that wasn't explained because of, of adaptation woes. Uh, the old lady and Risha are out right now, bring them back quick. See? Now Fumi learns. He left the village undefended once. Not again. Cool. Rat also protects the village. Sign as well. I'll send Sign if you need her. Which kind of implies that Sign went with them. But she didn't. Ah, uh, I know. Maybe sign is somewhere else. No, I, <laughs> I don't know where sign is, but apparently now Fumi can send her back to the village. Which kind of begs the question, why didn't he take sign with him? Seeing how powerful sign is, and she would be a great asset in this combat, but whatever. Maybe he wanted to do it alone or something. Uh, Philo collapsed. Philo was with Melty? Apparently, that's also a thing that happened. Sure. <laughs> uh, Wendy? What's her name? Something something that starts with W. Wine. Wine, 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 wine. Wine is also coming with them. Uh, I think this is the uh, zombie dragon before being zombified. Maybe. I don't know. Interesting that we don't really see much of that dragon. We see that one shot of the four um, four winged dragon sometime in this opening. I'm not gonna look for it too long, but yeah, there was a four winged dragon. Uh, Philo is sick because um, Galeon is sapping her levels. Her power, her strength, essentially. Which, again, begs the question, how? Why is there a connection? How is there a connection? I don't know, but apparently there is. 
uh, terrible power. And apparently Atla can stop it, probably by blocking some chakras or whatever she learned by uh, by training martial arts. Uh, she won't last two days. We'll be lucky if it stops at level one. That's actually interesting. What happens when you go to level zero? Do you go in a coma? Do you die? What happens when you go to level minus one? If it's possible, at least. That's interesting. If levels determine your strength... What happens at level 0? I assume that people are born at level 1 already? I don't know. Uh, and of course we are all going. Sure. Why not? Uh, I was confused what kind of a village it is, but apparently it is the village of the zombie dragon, the one that Ren claimed to have saved. Uh, we make it we may Galeon spit out the core. And if not, then we can just uh, we will have to just kill it. Oh, Wine has absolutely no qualms uh, killing monsters despite being a tamer. I fully expected her to maybe tame this overgrown hedgehog and use it as a pet or something, but no, she had absolutely no qualms vaporizing it with dragon magic. Uh, Dragon of Vein, and she will be able to use Coral Magic and Jamming Magic. And that taught me, how is your father a dragon? And what's going on with the Curse series here? I... Huh. Curse is something that Naohumi has. It's not a part of the zombie dragon core. Or is it Zombie Dragon's Wrath that puts the Wrath curse on Philo? Something along those lines. I don't know. I know, but apparently she just rushes towards the Emperor Dragon because of reasons. Yeah, I really was confused why Wine is giving that stinky eye to Ren, but apparently... The dragon was her father, which I, I I really don't understand why, how? Probably adopted or found in the wild or something, and the dragon decided to just take her in and raise her. Certainly not a biological parent. Unless shape-shifting, and she's not actually a cat girl, she's a dragon girl, but she changed her shape, her looks. I guess that would also make uh, kills, transformation magic, and a sort of... Uh, whatchamacallit? Mm. I forgot the word. Uh, but yeah, uh, showing us that kill and fall can transform, and that it's something that's not specific to Sadina, makes it more palatable, more understandable that wine can also shapeshift. And that's what I meant. Uh, Ren slowly but surely redeeming himself. That's a big cave. And here's Galleon. And here's Philo. But this is another thing that I don't get. If they are the same core, then Galleon would aim to summon Philo, control Philo's body and bring her here and swallow her whole to become whole again. But Philo is clearly aggressive towards him. So what's driving Philo here exactly, I wonder? I don't know. I don't know. And look, Galeon is drawn again, no longer CG. How did that happen, I wonder? Uh, Philo has been swallowed, but still alive, thankfully. And now he's CG again. Again, uh, this is a really cool fight, choreographed well, some really good action. But I wish the dragon wasn't CG. I don't think it even warrants being CG, honestly. Like, this is drawn, this is not CG. And the dragon isn't moving particularly much either. 
it just stands in place. You could draw it. You could absolutely draw it. But instead, you made it a CG model and you applied some weird texture on it. Uh, this kind of goes with my, like, how do I even call it? Not the rules of CG, that's that's a bad word to, to use here. Uh, but ways on how to recognize whether something is CG or 2D. Uh, 2D will have plain splotches of color. It will not have texture. If it has texture, like here, it's CG. Uh, because having that texture move with every frame when you hand draw it is just a pain. Meanwhile, applying that texture to a CG model just automatically moves the texture. Uh, that's why plenty of times you have that uh, kind of a window effect in uh, anime where someone's shirt, for example, is all flowery, but the flowers don't like follow with the seams and with the shirt. It's just a plain, straight texture. And even as the character moves, the flowers stay in the same spot, right? The shirt is like a window to the plane of flowers kind of sort of deal, uh, because textures are uh, textures are a bitch to draw every single frame. Uh, so it's a dead giveaway, it's CG. Another thing, tiny little highlights and tiny little shadows, which again, we have here plenty of that. Uh, you simply don't bother to do that in uh, hand-drawn um, art style, or you draw it as one big splotch of a highlight instead of multiple small tiny little dots. It doesn't look that bad, though. Uh, my, my first instinct seeing this was, oh shit, this dragon is textured. Who else, which other show had textured monsters, textured CG monsters? Arifureta season one. Arifureta season one had absolute garbage tier CG. This is garbage tier CG. That's how my thought process went. But now that I look at it like, I don't want to say objectively, but detached from the Arifureta stigma, so to speak. I guess it could have been worse. I guess it could have been worse. At least they're trying to, like, stylize it a little with those, like... Right? Like, uh, the shading. Like, you take a pencil or something and you shade it with lines. It has that sort of a quality. They're trying to do something with it, at least. It's not a plain old CG model with no care put into it. They are trying to stylize it, at least. And uh, some of those lines even look drawn. I wouldn't be surprised if some of that was actually drawn on top in post. Like the line at his uh, on his belly on the right here. That looks drawn, to me, at least. Uh, maybe that entire segment, even. I know. It could very well be partially drawn, partially CG. I don't know. Hard to tell. Yeah, it, it, it really could have been worse. Uh, wait, was it animated on once? Are they falling for that? No. I think it's animated on twos. Whatever, doesn't matter. I'm gonna stop focusing uh, on the CG now. Uh, buffs, even that doesn't work. And here comes the big reveal. No, father, don't do that. Stop it, dad. Don't fight anymore. Uh, which gives Ren another thing to atone for. He killed someone's father. Question is, was the dragon actually a threat to the village? We have to start there. Was the dragon just staying in that cave, minding its own business, and the villagers just hired Ren to kill it, or did Ren just decide, oh, cool, dragon, that's gonna be great loot and a lot of XP, I'm gonna go kill it. Because if it's, if it's the latter, then it would make sense, considering Ren's perspective and Ren's character. Uh, back when he did that, of course, it would also make sense why... Uh, mm, why what? What did I wanted to say? <laughs> uh, it would make sense why Wine is mourning him, because he was just a dragon who was minding his own business, and then 
suddenly a hero appeared and slew him for no goddamn reason. But if the dragon was actually a menace, then it makes sense that it was killed. I don't know, whatever. He became a dragon zombie to try and protect her. Sure, maybe. I guess you could argue that. Told myself I could never forgive the heroes for destroying our happiness, but the shield hero was kind to me. Uh, give him back his body. He's got the same name as you. You can't stay here anymore. You need to go to the afterlife, Dad. I'm not your father anymore. I am the Emperor Dragon. And we have to fight a bigger threat now. And yeah, this is the dragon from the opening because four wings. Uh, combining the cores of the zombie dragon from this world. Yeah, so two separate cores. But then, why is there a link between Galleon and Philo? How is Galleon sapping strength from Philo? How is Galleon sapping strength from Naofumi? Is this just his skill, like XP steal? And he can just steal XP from anybody? Why is he not stealing strength from Raftalia? Why is he not stealing strength from Sadina? I don't know. I don't know. Wh why did Philo's core activate when this motherfucker activated? Why did Philo go on a rampage and run here? Zombie dragon's instinct? Or something? To... Oh, the king of all monsters is here, I must answer its call? Kind of situation? Ah. Uh, to kill the hunting hero and her comrades who crushed my ambitions before. Sure. Stealing the shield's magic. Philo is inside. At least she's not been, like, completely merged. You can cut off those tendrils and free her. Problem is, it's behind an armored plate. So you will have to kill the dragon first, but it's not as easy because it's a really strong opponent. Getting defense from my shield. I deliberately fail a power-up attempt on the rap shield. It should weaken him. Is this something that was established before? Because I honestly don't recall now for me trying to power up the shield and failing and becoming weakened because of it? I really don't recall anything like that happening. It might just be my memory failing because it's been a while since I've seen season 1 and season 2. Or maybe it just happened off screen. Apparently his shield has plus is at plus 7 already. This is cool. This is great. I love it. We address the fact that Heroes are talking about their plans in the earshot of the villain. Of course the villain will know what their plans are. <laughs> this is great. I love it. Probably my favorite moment of this episode, honestly. <laughs> Rough Shield 6. Awaken will power up Rough Shield 6. Awaken from plus 7 to plus 8. Yes, but the dragon can control it, apparently, now? That's the thing? Okay. And then he turns red. Because he's using the wrath shield energy, or because now Fumi succeeded in failing? Or what's going on here exactly? Big explosion. Dragon is unharmed. And cliffhanger. Cool. <laughs> uh. Okay. Hmm. I have fairly ambivalent feelings about this episode. On one hand, uh, it works as just a plain, fun, hype episode, right? Cool fight, now Fumi screaming, oh no, our heroes are in peril again, what's gonna happen now? Oh boy, oh no, Philo got eaten, right? It really works as that sort of an episode. 
very, very well if you look mostly just at the surface level of it. Uh, but when you start digging a little deeper into it, I feel like either a lot has been skipped from the source material, or a lot has been skipped from the source material. I have no other explanation for it than just adaptation woes. Because, or perhaps this episode is confusing on purpose. I absolutely do not discount that possibility. It very well could just be uh, confusing on purpose. And uh, maybe that was the same exact way in the source material. And we just need, need further story to fully grasp what's actually happening. I don't know. Maybe dragon cores have some resonance between them that isn't well understood. And that's why Philo suddenly powered up. We don't know why. Nobody knows why. Sadina doesn't know why. Wine doesn't know why. Nobody knows why. We, we thought they were separate cores, but they resonate with each other. What? How is that possible? It could very well be that it is the case. Uh, but as it stands, this episode, again, once you go past that really high, really strong, really cool surface, it's just confusing. Really, it's it's just mostly confusing. Yeah, it's confusing and kind of uh, how should I say it? Not tropey. That's absolutely not the correct word to use it. I guess tropey within the confines of this show not tropey within the confines of media at large. Uh, what I mean by that is, it really seems like this will be another boss that Naofumi will just solo. That everybody is just out of the action, everybody has been incapacitated, it's down to Naofumi, again, to solo the boss, again, probably with the rap shield, again. Which isn't necessarily bad. It's absolutely not necessarily bad. Uh, I would, for example, really like it if now for me, instead of summoning his wrath shield, summon the turret again. The turret was used only once so far. Maybe it's high time to use it again. It was a gift from Ost, after all. So, right, let's use that gift. She even said said so herself. Instead of using the wrath shield, I'm gonna give you this. Use this to not succumb to your curse. So it would be cool to see now Fumi use that again. Uh, there are ways that you can actually make it cool, that you can actually make it work. Perhaps uh, Wine's Tokuno Jutsu might actually work. It didn't work for the first time, which I actually liked. I think it would be much worse if Wine's Tokuno Jutsu just worked and the dragon was like, oh, Shit, I guess I done goofed. Here's here's Galleon, oh, spits it out. Here's uh, Philo, oh, spits it spits her out. Okay, uh, thank you for coming here, my daughter. It was nice to meet you. I'm gonna check off and go to the other world if you don't mind now. And he just disappears into a cloud of particles and vanishes. And Philo is unscathed. Galleon is unscathed. We can go back to the city. It would be an ending, but it would be. Kind of cheap, right? So the fact that it didn't actually work, that the dragon just got powered up even further, it works. It's cool. It's really, really cool. But it really just seems like it's all coming down to now for me soloing the boss again. Would it be cool if maybe a Ren was useful here for once? Maybe he woke up and then attacked the dragon and that was the final blow or, I don't know, something like that. Maybe wine. Wine is not incapacitated, so wine, uh, wine, fall, and Atla are still fighting. So maybe they could be useful. Maybe Naokumi will not actually solo it. Maybe Atla will, right? That'd be cool. That'd be cool, but it really looks like it's going to be all down to Naokumi. I know, I know. I guess, I guess we'll see. It uh, it all remains to be seen. Overall, cool episode. 
very confusing at times with the like dragon core business how are they linked how are they not linked what's what the fuck is going on there how is he sapping energy from now for me how is he sapping energy from philo that really wasn't explained i fully expect that to just be adaptation world i fully expect that all to have been uh, explained in the source material either now or perhaps later uh, in the future i know you guys tell me uh, as long as it's not spoilers, then I will gladly take any addendums based on the source material. I'm leaving it at your discretion. Uh, err on the side of caution, though, I'd rather not be spoiled, so... Just so you know. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it. And uh, if the next episode is the fight, then yeah, again, it leaves us three episodes for Itsuki arc. Or maybe like two episodes for Itsuki arc and last episode for final battle or final battle battle of the finale will be the fight with Itsuki. Which could very well be the case. Episode 10 we meet Itsuki, we find him. Episode 11 uh, something happens in the first half, second half we start the fight with Itsuki. Episode 12 first half uh, battle with Itsuki concludes, Itsuki is saved. Later, latter half we deal with the fallout of anything that happened, I know, maybe bitch is gonna be killed finally, or jailed or something, she really should have been thrown in the oubliette, instead of just left to roam around freely, honestly, I know, I know, we'll see, uh, we will see all about it in the future, but right now, that's gonna be it from me for today, so as always, you guys, you tell me now, what did you think of this episode, my reaction, my theories, all in the comments down below, and uh, no spoilers, please, spoilers belong to my Discord, here also in the description, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel to be notified to be, to be notified of future releases of not only Shield Hero, but also Magic Record, Hulk, uh, Shangri-La Frontier, uh, shy and plenty of free run and plenty of others coming in the future click the bell to be notified when i go live because i do stream sometimes uh, support the channel if you want monetarily on patreon down below where for 10 bucks a month you get a like where for 10 bucks a month you get early access to non-seasonal shows like magia record and for just a dollar you get a role on the discord and a place in the credits you can also support me directly on youtube via memberships super thanks stuff like that and if you don't want to spend any money whatsoever you don't have to share my content spread the word it costs you absolutely nothing and helps the channel a lot and now with all of that out of the way that's gonna be it from me for today so as always you guys do all the good stuff and i'm Gonna see you in the next one. Cheers. And here's my wonderful Patreons. QB, Uvata, Nedic, Opus, Viver, Zayriner, Akamancer, David, Dr. Watt, Marsh, Yukala, Fassel, and Hans, Peter. And you can join them without having to fuse your core with the core of a dragon.